and like to get started right now with news you can use. We've got uh, several items that we're going to cover this morning, just uh, very quickly. Uh, first one, kind of from a broad front standpoint, uh, one of the reasons that we're having some issues with our oil price, gas price, and I don't know about you guys, but we finally have cracked uh, the $6 uh, per gallon price here in California going down. It's been six to seven for the last month, and we're now down in the high fives. Yay, California. Uh, but anyway, one of the reasons I just noticed a Reuters report that said that we have sold, as the U.S. government, we sold 5 million barrels of oil from our strategic reserves to our good friends, the Chinese. So uh, yay, USA, uh, in spite of the fact that we need a, some price relief for gas here, federal governments decided in their best interest to sell off some of our strategic reserves. By the way, the strategic reserves are designed in case something happens. Uh, you know, some martial law type event, uh, and we need to have the gas, oil, diesel, et cetera, available to function as a country. Um, that's what the reserve is. Anyway, we sold off 5 million barrels. Yay. Um, all right. Let's talk about some cities that are, uh, actually, I'm going to talk about some cities that are uh, having some problems with home cancellation rates. Uh, home buyers are canceling deals at the highest rate since the start of the pandemic. Um, and also new builders are having a ton of their projects being canceled. Even people who have put in a deposit are walking away. We talked about this last week. I showed you some signs uh, from a housing development where they've been building houses for the last two years uh, in Central California, uh, the first time the signs went up, probably a year ago, it said homes available from the high six or seven hundreds. Um, and then it came down in January, uh, February, the, the sign came down, a new one went up that said homes available from the high five hundreds. And then just last week on the 4th of July, I was out walking, I took a picture, the new sign now says homes available from the high three hundreds. Now, these are four bedroom, two story homes, nice homes, uh, but that market is definitely sinking. And from what I've heard, uh, most, the majority of the people who signed up to buy those homes can no longer afford to buy them. And that's probably the big reason for the cancellation rate. So we're seeing, uh, once again, the highest across the country, the highest cancellation rates of escrows. It's uh, something north of 15% on a nationwide basis there are some areas where it's over 30%. So in other words, if everything that goes into contract, up to one in three homes is being canceled out of contract. Now that was fairly normal 15 years ago, actually. Uh, these are not unusual numbers for them, but for the last couple of years, the cancellation rate's only been like 2%. So uh, that is another sign of the times. A third item of business that we want to chat about this morning is, and this is just kind of a fun thing, but if you are remodeling a home, here are some things to not do, things that will actually decrease the value of your kitchen. So I'm going to go through this list pretty rapidly. Um, and, and these are things that will hurt. So it, it, keep in mind, if you are living in your own home and you want to do an upgrade in your kitchen with the idea that I'm going to sell it over the next few years, these are things you don't want to do. If you use too low of a quality material, so if you use uh, uh, cheaper stuff, for for example, uh, you know, tile and oak cabinets, those kinds of things, uh, less costly, great for rental grade, but if you're gonna resell it, it will actually diminish the value. If you use excessive wallpaper, uh, too much wallpaper, typically kitchens don't have a ton of wallpaper. If you use too much uh, and or you get out there on the, fringes in terms of gaudy colors and things like that, neutral tones, earth tones, uh, those types of things are better. High-end appliances, they may be great for you, you may want a Viking refrigerator, just, you know, four door and, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but if it's too high-end, that'll actually hurt your value because a lot of people are intimidated by some of that stuff. So it, it will reduce the number of buyers interested in your home. Do-it-yourself repairs, number four on the list. If you uh, fancy yourself a handyman, you want to do the work yourself. Uh, believe it or not, sellers can a lot of times, unless you're a really skilled craftsman, sellers can tell the difference between a DIY and, done, and one done professionally. Uh, do yourself plumbing. You put in 
people do this all the time. I, I used to do this myself. You know, I put a Y fitting where a T is supposed to go. And what that does is it changes the balance uh, of the flow in your plumbing. So, you know, you go to Home Depot and you get a, a, you know, a fitting that looks like this instead of one that just goes like this. And it will definitely change how your water flows through your kitchen and things like that. So uh, don't do it yourself. Make sure you get a qualified licensed plumber to do that stuff. Out of style trends. We talked once again about oak cabinets, tile countertops, uh, that kind of thing. Um, higher end finishes there are more are seen better. In other words, tile is just not the thing. You'd want to do something that's a little bit nicer than that, but you don't want to do, um, you know, something that goes back to the 80s and 90s. And there's a lot of people that, you know, they, they grew up like that. And so they want their home to look like that. That's going to hurt their ability to resell it. Next is sacrificing storage space. The, the concept, and this has been going on for at least the last 15 years that I can recall, Everybody wants the open floor plan concept, you know, knock out walls everywhere, uh, make the kitchen like open so that everybody in every part of the house can see in the kitchen. That's great until you realize that by knocking out those walls, you've also knocked out all the space to store things. So you've got a great open kitchen, open floor plan, open house, but there's no place to put your Tupperware. Uh, so that sucks, and that will definitely hurt your, your future resale value. Uh, adding a granite countertop. While granite's a, a popular choice for countertop, it can be quite expensive. Um, and believe it or not, if you have too high end of a, a furnish, a finish, uh, you know, travertine, travertine tile, marble, that kind of thing, that can actually hurt your value because... Once again, potential buyers are going to worry about the maintenance on stuff like that. And so it's the same thing as a high-end electronics, high-end appliances. They're going to see this thing and they're going to say, mm, that could cost us too much. Uh, the home warranty programs that I've seen out there don't really cover much of anything anymore. Uh, there's so many gotchas that they don't, uh, they don't participate with money to take care of things. So uh, I would stay away from that. And exaggerated lighting is our last item. Uh, if you have uh, either way too, it, typically it's too much lighting. Um, you know, that, that can, where it, it was either too bright, it's hard to see because it's so bright, or, you know, the whole spotlight of the house is on the kitchen because of the excessive lighting. Um, you know, it's good to have a lighting so you can see, but you can get a little excessive. So recommendation there and a simple fix. If you've got already too much excessive lighting, is just put dimmer switches on everything so that you can turn it down and have it set at a lower level. Anyway, those are the 10 things that uh, are recommended to stay away from if you're going to remodel your kitchen in order to sell it.